Hey guys, it's your girl, Lashes Tony XO. How are you guys doing today? Got my coffee ready to go, my iced coffee. This is actually something really new to me. It's like a coconut um, iced macchiato with, I put, told him to put a couple of shots of vanilla in it. The ice is already melted. But, um, I've been swirling around. It's pretty good. I love my coffee. Like, my cold coffees. I think I like those better. I'm more, like, into the warm, hot coffees, um, during the fall and the winter. And then, like, towards the spring... And the summer, I'm all about the iced coffees, the frappuccinos, all the flavors. That's my jam. So, yeah. So, I'm getting busy on this. Um, I've been up since 6 o'clock this morning. Doing a lot of uh, YouTube stuff. Editing for some new series. About my foundation series. And then I'm also uh, trying to film like six videos today. I know. I'm crazy. And then I've also got errands to do. And then I have a uh, family night tonight. We're seeing like Beauty and the Beast, I think. We might wait till Sunday to do that. And then, uh, what else are we doing? Beauty and the Beast and dinner. I know we're having dinner tonight, but we might wait and see Beauty and the Beast tomorrow since I have errands tonight. I don't know. We'll work it out. We'll work it out. But anyway, hey, it, um, a little sidetrack there. Um, this is my March empties. Not as much as, I don't know, did I have a, was it February empties that I did? It, like, I had so many. I think it was like 30 something minutes long and it cut off on me because it was that long. This one shouldn't, it shouldn't take that long actually. It's, not that many empties. Well, most of the things are smaller, so we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. If I don't run my mouth the whole time, we'll see. Um, so let's get started with the empties for March. Um, and I'll tell you if I would repurchase it, my thoughts on if it's worth the price, and you know, just let you guys know how I feel about everything. Okay. So, the first thing I'm pulling out is my Holy Grail bronzer. This is the Saint-Tropez Saint um, Advanced 1 Hour Tan Bronzing Mousse. Um, yes. Totally repurchased this. Actually, I did. I went last night to Sephora. I have a Sephora haul coming up and an Ulta haul coming up. And, um... Yeah, they should be up next week, I think. Or, I don't know when I'm going to post this video, but they should be coming up. Um, so, anyway, I did repurchase this. This is, like, something I cannot live without. My bronzer. Um, so far, this is my favorite that I found. Um, and it is kind of on the pricey side. I think it's around $45 at Sephora. But, I mean, it's... a it says if you leave on for one hour, you get a light tan, two hours medium, and three hours dark. I usually do the three hours because I like as dark as I can go because if not, my natural skin tone is very ghostly. Very ghostly. So, anyway, I would definitely repurchase this. Um, this is really great because it is a pump. And I use a mitt with it, and my mitt, I was going to throw that one away because I did buy a new mitt at Sephora too, but um, I didn't want it to get all over my products, so I, did, I didn't put it in the in this particular garbage can. But anyway, um, the pump is the way to go. I just feel like it's less messy um, than the, like, um the lotions and sprays. I just really like the, the moussey texture of the, of the pump. So, yeah. Definitely a repurchase. I've, repur I've been buying this since it came out. So, 
Definitely, definitely, definitely. Okay, the next product I have here is the uh, Vita Fusion Extra Strength um, Melatonin Gummies. And this is only 5 uh, milligrams. It is a sleep support gummy. And me and my 16-year-old son use this because um, we both have, like, sleep problems where, our, I don't know, we just don't get enough sleep, basically. So, I like, and we can't fall asleep. We'll toss and turn, toss and turn, toss and turn. My husband can lay down in the bed and be asleep in, like, as soon as his head hits the pillow. I, on the other hand, am not like that. So, unless I'm, like, dead tired, I need a little bit of help. So, I take uh, melatonin. It's great for not getting something, like, addictive. Like, I don't know. There's all kinds of stuff you can get over the counter. Um, and then you can also get prescriptions. But, you know, I don't really want to get a prescription of a sleep aid, especially for my son. Um, so, we just... And these gummies are so good. They taste so yummy. It's like having like a little candy before you go to bed. So, um, this flavor is blackberry. And I would definitely recommend this if you have sleep problems like we do. Um, try to find this one. Again, this is the Viva Fusion. And right now, um, the last time I went, I don't know where I bought this. I think it might have been Target, but I'm not sure. It might have been Walgreens or Target. I don't know. But, I cannot find this. Um, after I purchased it, I forgot where I got it, and I can't find it. So, I really want to find it again. If you know where you can pick this up, comment below, because we really, really enjoy these. And right now, we're just taking the, um, the pill ones, and they're not as fun, and they're not good. I mean, they're, they help. They do their, their work, but they, they just... They're not as yummy. You know what I'm saying? Like, the other one has, like, a funky taste to it. Anyway, back to my garbage or my trash. Um, this is a Bath & Body Works Leaves uh, Gentle Foaming Hand Soap. Leaves is, like, one of my favorite scents from Bath & Body Works. I bought this, I don't know, I think around the holidays. When they were having all their sales. They have sales a lot. So. <sighs> Smells just like the candle. Uh, I just got it in my mouth. Mmm. Smells so good. Smell it. Smell it. Smells so good. Um, again, like I said, I would totally repurchase this scent. And I would totally repurchase um, the foam soap. I like it better than the other one because it does not get clogged up in here so if you don't like that try the foam soap it works amazing um so definitely would repurchase that um the next thing the next thing we have here is the lush defluff strawberry shaving soap looks like this Obviously, I used it all. Let me just say, it does not smell like strawberries. I don't know if it's because it's out of date. Um, but it does not smell like strawberries. And I was totally disappointed in this product. Um, I always hear everybody hype it up. So, I get really excited about Lush stuff sometimes. And I'm like, oh, you know, it's going to be so good. It's going to be amazing. And some Lush stuff is really amazing. Like, the bath bombs are my favorite. The bubble bars are my favorite. But some of their products are not my favorite. And the Defluff Strawberry Shaving Soap, I think, sucks. So, I would definitely not repurchase this at all. It just was not my thing. You have to scoop your fingers in there to put it on your legs. There's no lather. There's no... I would much rather just use conditioner for that matter um, because this is so messy and it really gets really under your fingernail bed and it's just like a pain in the ass.
So I would pass on this. I didn't really like it. Sorry if you did, but I just, I would not repurchase that. Um, I've got a bunch of lashes here. So, yeah, a bunch of lashes. Let me get all these lashes out. Um, okay. The first ones, they're still in here because I don't know why they're in here, but I just, I don't know. I would definitely repurchase anything um, Ardell is super cheap. They're like $3.99 at Ulta. You can get them anywhere, Walmart, anywhere, uh, Walgreens, just any, everybody has these, all drug stores. Um, these are the glamour ones. Um, I really like these, but as you can tell, they're really like funky looking uh, because I slept in them. So once you sleep in these, um, you might as well just throw them away because they're just not going to work anymore. As you can see, these look okay, but these are just like, ah, they're just really funky. So garbage time. So, but I would definitely repurchase those. Those are really, really long and pretty. Um, some other ones right here are the Huda Beauty Lashes. I've worn these. Look how glam they are. They're so pretty. There's the name of them is Samantha number seven. And you know, guys, I go through these when I do like glam looks or something like that. They're just really, really amazing. Get them at Sephora. They are on the pricey side. They're like $21, $22. Um, you can find cheaper, really pretty lashes. And I'm fixing to show you some lashes that are affordable that look like these but um you don't have to pay the price tag but obviously i would repurchase these i just think they're gorgeous um if you want a glam look but you don't have to pay this price you can get this brand i'm always talking about this brand um this is the allure lux uh mink effect lashes um and i just really love these um but if you want like a full like a full glam look i would highly recommend these um i believe at ulta they run like ten dollars and 99 cents um i heard walmart walmart carries them cheaper i want to say someone said eight seven or eight bucks so you might want to check out Walmart and get you some really good lashes. So, so yeah, I would definitely repurchase these, repurchase these, and repurchase these. So, so I'm, I'm telling you, I go through some lashes. Go through me some lashes. Okay, so more stuff. Okay, so this was a fun little purchase I got at Sephora. This is that the famous, it's made by the same people that make the famous Bum Bum Cream, the Brazilian Bum Bum, Bum, Bum Cream. Um, this is the same people and the same smell. Um, it says pistachio caramel is what it says on here. I don't know, but... Oh my God. I could just sit here and blow this air in my face if you've smelled the bum bum cream this smells so yummy it's so delicious mm. smells so good i got this at sephora it was super duper expensive you guys i want to say it was 25 or 35 dollars for a body wash and this is only 13 fluid ounces. You know, you can get those big, like, Crest bottles. Um, for, like, $30 for a body uh, shower gel is crazy. Um, I just really, really wanted it at the time. And it does smell amazing. It really, really does. If you use this in the shower and then put on the bum bum cream, you're going to smell like heaven all day. But, I'm not going to repurchase this just because I did use it. I did enjoy it. It was like a luxury thing. 
but I'm not going to repurchase it just because, like, that's way too much money to spend on a shower gel. So, no, I would not repurchase that. That was just, like, a little fun treat for me that one time. Okay. Um, this is the Neutrogena Oil-Free Eye Makeup Remover. Um, sometimes I like to use this when I do my waterproof mascara or my waterproof eyeliner from Benefit. Um, but normally I don't. I prefer the Marcella, Marcel Marcella Water, um, by Garnier. Um, this one is just a little too oily for my eyelids. I just don't like that feeling of, um, you might as well just get some olive oil or something or just something like that to rub on your eye because basically what it feels like it's just like an oily texture it does work really really well and it is affordable but i would recommend the garcelle garcelle garnier um marcella water i just really like that better um and it's about the same price i want to say and it's not oily so yeah i would not repurchase this again um, what else do I got? Um, I can't remember where I got this. Um, it might have been in a box or it might have been sent to me by a friend. But I can't remember. But anyway, this is the Secret uh, Outlast Clear Gel Deodorant. I do want to say that if you're looking for a deodorant that smells amazing and that lasts, all day long and it just i can't get over the smell it smells so freaking good and it like it really lasts it says outlast it really lasts all day and it smells amazing but i have really sensitive armpits so i cannot i mean i've used it i use the whole thing but i do not like these uh clear gel roll-up things they burn my underarms so bad I prefer either a solid or a spray. Now, sometimes the sprays, certain ones do irritate under my arms, but that's why normally I just go for the solids. Um, so, yeah. So, I would not repurchase this one just because it is a clear gel deodorant. Now, if they have a solid in this, with this smell, I would totally repurchase it, but I'm not going to repurchase this particular one. So, yeah. If you have sensitive skin or sensitive pits like I do, pass on this. If you don't have sensitive pits, get it because it smells amazeballs. Again, if you want to know what, it smell, what the scent is, it just says Secret Outlast Clear Gel. And it's called, I guess the name of it is Completely Clean. Um, and it smells amazing. It really does. Okay, next thing. Um, the L'Oreal Infallible Makeup Extender Setting Spray. Um, I would not repurchase this. I really, really don't like this. I think I just got like a really bad one. Um, it must have expired and I just picked up an expired one. It just really smells so bad and funky it makes me want to throw up i've tried i've tried to use this and i just can't guys i can't i just it, i don't know if it's expired or if they all stink if they all stink like this how could you put this on your face um i don't know i'm not gonna try it it was kind of expensive for a drugstore setting spray so i'm gonna totally pass on this and i would not repurchase this they have better ones at the drugstore i think um, okay, this is the Sephora Pearl Eye Mask, the little fiber eye masks, um, and this one is perfecting and brightening. Um, these are super cheap. They're like $3.99, I want to say, at Sephora. You can get them at the checkout, and I love these things. I went back to Sephora last night when I went and got my, uh, uh, bronzer. And I went and got some more of these. I got some different ones. But these are amazing. Um, lately, when I wake up in the morning, I think it's because I don't get enough sleep. I get really puffy around my eyes. 
Um, just my face in general gets super puffy. And so if I've got to go somewhere early in the morning, I will put these under my eyes um, and leave them on. How long do you leave it on for? Um, does it say? I don't have my glasses with me and I, I can't see what it says. But anyway, um, you just leave it, <coughs> leave it on for probably about five minutes or it's like a cooling sensation. Just feels really good on the skin when you first wake up in the morning and you got to go somewhere early. Um, it's just really nice to put under your eyes. So I would definitely, definitely repurchase this. Would I say it's brightening? No. Um, I just feel like they're really good for under eyes uh, to get rid of puffiness. I think it's amazing. And would I purchase it, repurchase it? Definitely. I think they're amazing. Next thing, um, the Benefit Push-Up Liner. You guys know this is my Holy Grail liner. Um, I would definitely repurchase it. It's just one of my favorites. The only thing... I don't like about it. It is waterproof. So you really have to work about, work about, you really have to work a little bit harder to get this off your eyes. But, um, that's when something like this comes in handy. But, um, yeah, it's amazing. I would totally recommend this and I would repurchase it again. And I did. So, yeah. Um, another thing, um, let's see. There's some little things at the bottom. Okay. These two um, brow pencils. One is the Anastasia Brow Wiz. I would definitely repurchase this. Actually, I just did repurchase it. Um, I went to the store at Ulta and I got me a new one. Um, I usually get, I don't buy taupe. I usually get soft brown in my pencils just because I like a darker brow. So, yeah, I would totally recommend this, and I would repurchase this in a heartbeat, which I did. And the next one is the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. Now, this one is so, so much of a dupe for the one I just showed you, but half the price, and I would totally repurchase this. It has got a really fine point like the uh, brow is. And it is beautiful. It goes on. It stays on all day. It's amazing. It's one of my favorite ones from the drugstore. And in this one, I got... What color? In this one, I got... I think it says blonde. Can't really see without my glasses. But I think it says blonde. Um, but yeah, these are amazing. So, definitely repurchase that. I think Ulta's having a sale on those, actually. Where you buy one, get one half off or something like that for the L'Oreal products. Um, some more things. Let's see. If I can get these out of the bottom. The last things here. Okay. I've got the Urban Decay D Sleep Makeup Setting Spray Oil Control. Oral. Let's try that again. I got the Urban Decay D Sleep Makeup Setting Spray Oil Control. Looks like this. These are the trial ones that are at the checkout at, um, well, I think you can get them at Ulta and Sephora, but I always get mine at Ulta at the checkout. And, um, they're like $15 for these smaller ones. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the D-Slick. I prefer the all-nighter one. I was looking at it over there. I prefer the all-nighter one. Um, would I repurchase it? Um... I don't think I would. I don't think I would repurchase it. Maybe when it gets like major summer hot, hot weather where I'm just like my makeup's melting off my face, then I would repurchase the D-Slick. But right now, um, no, I would not repurchase this. It is good, but it's not my favorite. It's not my favorite setting spray. Um, another thing, this was like a little tester. I think I got it from Sephora with the purchase or whatever. Um, this is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Deep Dive Cleansing Gel. Would I repurchase it? Hmm. Let's see. I don't think I like this. I don't think I enjoyed this. Um, 
Yeah, so I don't think I would repurchase that. So, no. Um, okay, this is the Makeup Forever Smoothing Primer. You guys know this is like my holy grail of primers. I would totally recommend trying this if you haven't. And yes, I would definitely repurchase it. It is one of my faves. So, oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Um, now, let's see what else do I got here. I got the Dr. Dennis, uh, I don't know, I guess it's pronounced uh, Gross, G-R-O-S-S, -S, so Gross, I don't know. Um, these are the Alpha Beta Peel Original Formulas. Um, there's two steps to this. There's step one for the surface definer and step two for a deep, deeper treatment. Um, yeah, I didn't find a big difference in my skin with these. So, for the price, these suckers are like some of the most expensive skincare products that I've ever purchased. And so, I would not repurchase this again. So, I would say I would pass on these. They were not my favorite at all. Um, I did not feel like there was a big change in my skin. And these, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, they're between $65 to maybe even $85. They're just really, really super duper expensive from Sephora. Maybe you like them. That's great. But I personally did not like them. Um, some more little things. You know I can't live without my 3D Crest White Strips. These are the Lux Professional Effects. Definitely repurchase these. Um... I always do. They keep my teeth white and pearly white, and I love these. These are my holy grails. Definitely repurchase these. Um, this is the Peter Thomas Roth um, Acne Clear Invisible Dot Treatments for blemishes. I really enjoy these. Um, I still have a, a pack in my bathroom, but this is just one that I went through. I wanted to show you guys. You just, like, if you have, like, a big zit somewhere, like, that time of the month or something, you just pull this little sticker off the pad. You stick it on there. I sleep in mine, and the next day I pull it off, and it just kind of dries it out. So, I really enjoy these. So, I would definitely recommend these. I don't know how much, like, the full size um, cost, but I got um, a pack of these, like, um, this particular one comes with 12 clear dots. Highly recommend those. Those are really good. That is pretty much everything for my March empties, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I want to say I love you guys to pieces, and I hope you have a good one. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys. Love you.